Hey guys, um, back home today, um, and yesterday was hard and we went down to Iowa and said goodbye to my uncle, um, yeah, there was lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of ugly crying, for sure. Um, but then after all the ugly crying was done done with, there became lots of laughter. Um, lots of memories, lots of stories, lots of photos, of course. Um, just a lot of really good, good things going on. Um... That was very important to me, for sure. Um, last time I seen my uncle was the week before Thanksgiving. Um, and that was like the best day in the world. Seriously, it was. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, it was... A lot of fun. I wish I had more, more, more time with him. For sure, like, he left this earth too, too soon. He did. Um, he had pancreatic, pancreatic, pancreatic cancer about five years ago. Um, and unfortunately it came back. About... Six months ago, so months ago, I think it was. Um, I was right back on chemo, but like a different form, and it made him really sick and weak. Um, but he seemed to be doing good. He wasn't that sick where he was losing a bunch of weight or losing his hair. And he was, his immune system was weak. And, <clears throat> and then he. Oh, not too long ago, actually, he bumped his arm and got an infection in it, and that's what ultimately took him, was the infection in his arm. Um, yes, he was given antibiotics, yes, he stopped chemo, but unfortunately, because his system was just too weak, there's nothing you can do, um, and just nothing, unfortunately. And so it was, you know, it was hard for sure. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's difficult to still deal with it right now. Um, but I know he's not suffering, he's no longer in pain, he's up in heaven with family and, you know, all that stuff. I know, I know it's. He's in a better place. I know that. Um, doesn't change the hurt. <clears throat> so, um, this doesn't change the hurt. <sighs> um, I was in a lot of pain yesterday, so I'm still some pain today. Um, and I just, I don't know what's wrong. I guess all the stress. My guess is just the stress of yesterday's events and everything. I just cause my body almost shut down because of pain and stress and all that wonderful stuff. Um, so I don't know. It's weird. Um, But I woke up this morning and just so much pain. I couldn't even go to church this morning. It was so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. I just can't right now. And of course, my grandma's like, you're supposed to go to church. Like, I don't understand this. It's like, don't be mad at God for taking your uncle from you. And I'm like, I'm not mad. I'm not. I get it. I've been prepared for this for for you older people to be going. Like, 
really? <laughs> like, I'm not mad at him. Like, not. Like, not at all. I'm not mad. Like, the only time I should be mad is if, like, one of my friends who are my age goes if way before their time. And that has happened. That happened a month ago. Last month, I think it was. Yeah, last month. Um, dear friend of mine passed away. Now, I may not have seen him in, you know, eight years. But he was still a friend. He was still a classmate. I still grew up with him. It doesn't matter. But, oh, you know, I've moved on from it. Um, there's nothing I can do. What's done is done. I can't bring them back. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, sorry, I have a lump right here inside my cheek. I think I bit my lip yesterday. My cheek and it's bugging me today. <clears throat> um, ooh, sorry. Stay. <clears throat> so, so yeah, that is what's going on right now in my brain. Um, I don't know, things are just... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. Spent a few hours with my niece yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Haven't seen her in a long time. Sorry, you can hear that. That's my R screaming and the dog next door barking like crazy. <sighs> Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Lordy. I hate the dog next door. So, anyways. That's what's going on right now. Um. And I'm still thinking about writing. Still thinking about those things. My uncle was a big fan of me and my writing for sure. And of course my photography and all the things that I'm into, he he supported me through a lot of it. So that is a big deal for me to have someone very supportive of the arts of my life and things that I'm into. So he will be missed for sure. Um, and I'm on this little vlog here. And I'm gonna get some rest or I don't know. Do something to hopefully get my back and my legs and my head straightened out. I don't know. Um Ibuprofen Tylenol does doesn't really help me too much anymore. Um stretching does, tends to so I might end up going probably to the gym. To stretch on the machines in there to kind of help things get loosey goosey. Have a massage there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see how I feel. Bye, guys.